Hi, this is Gathering Paradise with Jenny O'Neill. We are so happy to have you spending time with us. Today's poem is um, a little more complex than some, and I think you'll really like it. It's by James Wright, started publishing in the 50s. He died in 1990. I think that's important to note because this poem is describing sex workers. It's describing prostitutes. So his age, he's writing his first stuff in the 50s. And this is how he sees women. And it's transformative. It's reverent. It's very full of honor for these women. In the title, references West Virginia. I was born in West Virginia, as well as all of my cousins on my mama's side. All uh, 38,000 of us. It's like very poor. It's very, it has a lot of places that are really rough and also just rough and forgotten. Not rough like in a bursting, bubbling with life inner city rough. Like it's rough and there's also nothing there. Like no more industry, things are shutting down. Also, it references specifically Bridgeport, Ohio, which you need to know is James Wright grew up in Ohio. So his commentary on Ohio is very well earned, well deserved is from a life. So Ohioans, uh, don't at me. You can at James Wright, he's dead, but I mean, I'm sure you can get your comeuppance. You can definitely tell the narrator of this poem you can tell their opinion of both Wheeling, West Virginia, because it's described as hell, and then Bridgeport, Ohio, which is seen as not much better than hell. In response to a rumor that the oldest whorehouse in Wheeling, West Virginia has been condemned. I will grieve alone as I strolled alone years ago, down along the Ohio shore, I hid in the hobo jungle weeds upstream from the sewer main, pondering, gazing. I saw down river at 23rd and Water Streets by the vinegar works, the doors open in early evening, swinging their purses. The women poured down the long street to the river and then into the river. I did not know how it was they could drown every evening. What time near dawn did they climb up the other shore, drying their wings? <laughs> For the river at Wheeling, West Virginia has only two shores. The one in hell and the other in Bridgeport, Ohio. And uh, nobody would commit suicide only to find beyond death Bridgeport, Ohio. What I find so magical about it is even as a young boy, he's watching the women go in and out of a whorehouse, right? He knows that they're prostitutes, clearly. And there's nothing wrong with healthy lust and desire and everyone will feel it. So there's not really anything wrong with the boy speaker here. He's not intruding, he's not seeing them naked, but it was, it's a long time ago. There was no internet. These women were incredibly thrilling and taboo, and I'm sure they were dressed far more sexy than any of the other women in Wheeling, West Virginia, or Bridgeport, right? So this was like the place to be that he had found, right? And he's realizing that it has been condemned. The building itself 
is so decrepit that the government has said this place is going to the ground, right? So definitely it doesn't have any whores in the house. Side note, shout out to Cardi B and Megan B. Stallion, baby. There were some whores in this house. Damn right. This boy is attracted to these women or this young man, this teen. He's attracted to these women. He's fascinated by them. And he still knows that every night, basically, they are drowning. They are committing suicide. And yet at dawn, they resurrect. They leave the building swinging their purses. Obviously, he literally does not think that they go into the river and become angels every night, right? But to see them as having to suffer and then like a phoenix recreate themselves every single day because there's no other alternative. He sees these women as angelic, resilient, capable of recovering from devastation every night. I mean, that is what is striking him. So when you sit with it, when you imagine it, when you are in his mind's eye, you cannot help but see. I mean, he begins the poem by saying he will grieve. It's such a gentle way, a co gentle, compassionate human way at looking at sex workers. And it's a way that neither men or women do very well today. Oh, nor did they back then. That's why this poem is so incredible and beautiful and transformative and also cynical. He gets you to this height where these whores, right? That's, they're in a whorehouse, but he then calls them women, right? They are able to metamorphosize. They pour out of the doors. They're free, they're swinging their purses. They pour down the long street by the river because he's on the other side spying. And then his imagination has them into the river. That's how he glosses over what he knows is horribly painful. And he sees them as resurrected, beautiful angels. And how could you do that? How could they drown every evening? That alone is worth the poem, especially giving the context of the age and time period. So I just love this poem because of the innocence and the innocence of the boy, the ways he sees them as still desirable and human and troubled, even if he doesn't know exactly how bad the trouble is, right? That these women have to endure. He knows that it is. And then also he's so cynical and grown up at the end. He gets you to this height of these beautiful, the image of these women, how do they climb up on the other shore every dawn? drying their wings and then all you get is two little stanzas and it's funny it's really funny to me for the river at wheeling west virginia only has two shores the one in hell the other in bridgeport ohio and nobody would commit suicide only to find beyond death bridgeport ohio I'm gonna give a little shout out to all of my many cousins, all 144,000 of us. Um, no, but I have, I'm the oldest cousin of multitudes and we were all born in West Virginia on my mother's side. So, um, and I love it. Mountain mama, take me home, West Virginia. Okay, if you don't know country roads, that might've seemed weird. Country roads, okay. I'll stop, you can't sing along with me, I realize. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you for being with us at Gathering Paradise. We are in our early production stages and we are figuring stuff out. Growth mindset, everything's gonna get better. Watch. Okay, but not right now. This video has what it has.